hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Jenny Malo so on today's video I just wanted to come here and talk about a few things that some of you guys asked in the comment section and also take you guys through take you guys with me as I'm going to be doing the weekly groceries and so that's what's going to be doing uh, that's what I'm going to be doing on this video oh, as well as cash stuffing some of my envelopes so if you're new here welcome 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 I know that this family has honestly grown we recently hit 19,000 subscribers Yes, I don't want to make the sound poo 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 poo, but you know what I mean. Poo 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 poo. Thank you to each and every one of you guys who has joined this family. I hope that you enjoy it here that you find value in this channel because that is the most important thing which means now we are very close to 20,000 subscribers we just need i think we did hit 19,100 and something which means that we just need right about now we need about 90 900 of you guys to come through and join that way we can officially have we can officially have 20,000 subscribers on this channel so the first things that I just want to talk about and I'm going to I'm go you don't have to enter this giveaway here but you can enter it on the post that I'm going to put up if I haven't put it up already I am going to put it up I hope that I've put it up on Sunday but I just wanted to come here and just tell you that I am running a giveaway this is a giveaway as a collaboration with the ladies that invited me on their event which is the mama's event and they we agreed i asked i asked let me just be honest i did ask that can they give me something for you guys like something for my viewers because it is not a paid gig you guys i don't want to front i don't want to lie to you guys it's not paid but i did ask that can we meet each other halfway gay you know give me one ticket so that i can give back to my guys to my family to you guys who watch my videos consistently and so they did agree that they will give me one ticket and this ticket is worth over 500 rands you guys and it's going to be a panel of beautiful ladies wise ladies that are going to be talking on various topics from career business i'm going to be talking on finances and so i really want to encourage you to enter that giveaway it is a giveaway open only on youtube because you guys come first and if ever if ever i run a giveaway and it's here on youtube it's going to be for you guys only i'm not gonna run a giveaway on instagram make sure that you enter the giveaway it is open to only mothers by the way i'm sorry you guys the guys the gents that watch my channel i am sorry the ladies that do not have kids that watch my channel i'm sorry you have to be a mother you don't have to be a single mother you can be married you can have your partner you can be a single mother but it is just open to mothers and so please make sure that you follow the instructions in terms of what you have to do to enter the giveaway but i do know that one of the requirements is to make sure that you are following me on instagram as well as following the mama's page on instagram as well so make sure that you join that giveaway it is going to be closing on sunday so this video is coming on wednesday so the giveaway is closing on the sunday and then i'm going to pick the winner the event the event you have to be in Gauteng as well because the event is going to be in Gauteng and so uh, what else do I want to say? Yeah, it's it's going to be in Gauteng and I'm going to close it off on Sunday. I'm going to pick a winner and then you will then get all the details in terms of how do you come and join us. The event is in March on the 16th of March, I think if I'm correct. Yeah, it is on March. And so just make sure that you can make sure that you enter the giveaway. That's the first things first. And as I said, open to mothers. Yeah? so let's get back to the video so the first things first i got a question talking about how do i do my weekly allowances or not the question was specifically on share more details on weekly groceries now i do think that it's not necessary for me to share my to share more on weekly groceries because that is what i do for my finances it's not what you have to do for your finances me doing that thing doesn't mean that you have to do it i do weekly groceries because it's what works for me and my family right now the small family that i have and also i do weekly groceries because for me groceries were a problematic area in my finances in terms of consistently going over budget or running out of money so that is why i do weekly groceries it's a system called weekly allowances now what the weekly allowances is all about is just saying that you are going to give you're gonna you are going to pay yourself 
per week so why even though you get paid once what you'll do is you will spread some of your money for certain categories per week so that you can manage your spending so that you can see what you're spending on and also so that you do not run out of money before payday the most important thing is running out of money before payday because that leads many of us to go into debt whenever that happens and so that is what a premise of that is the premise of weekly allowances you pay yourself weekly so how i do it is how i normally say to people to use this is look at a problematic area in your finances that you feel like this is something that you consistently spend on during the month it's not one thing that it's not something that you pay for once and then you're done it is something that you find yourself having to spend on during the month so you may spend on it when you get paid but you find yourself that uh, two weeks in you have to spend on this thing three weeks in you have to spend on this thing leading up to payday you have to spend on, the, on that thing so look at your budget and look at what is that thing that you find yourself spending on and by the way someone told me that I need to put a disclaimer that I'm not a financial advisor you guys oh Jennifer the only thing she does is come here and shares her journey here yeah, that is why I haven't felt the need to keep on saying I'm not a financial advisor even though in some videos I do say that that guys do not say take what I do as financial advice but i just want to highlight this important thing i share my content i share my financial journey with hopes that it inspires you to be more open with your finances to be more conscious with your finances to be more intentional with your finances that is the whole ethos behind my content that is why i do not come here and pretend to be an expert I am not an expert of finances i do not know better than some of you guys or any of you guys it's just that I have this platform and because I have this platform you come across I know better than you guys but it's not that's not the case that is not the case so I was saying so what I did was I looked at the problematic area in my finances and I chose that one category and then what I do is now I pay myself weekly and make sure that I have that money for the week to help me to buy groceries per week. So that is how I ended up buying groceries per week. I was buying groceries once and then I'll replenish maybe two weeks in and then I found myself that leading up to payday I no longer had money to replenish some of the things that finished because majority of the things that I buy are things that I need to replenish as the month goes like lunch book things um fruits and veggies those are things that i cannot just buy once and i'll find myself some of those things finishing and also i may buy some things like big in big sizes but if i bought it now and then it lasts me for two months you may find that on the third month mid month it finishes and now i have to replenish it like i will have to now buy rice but doesn't mean that every month i buy rice doesn't mean that every month I buy all these big things. It just means that I will buy it, maybe use it. It would last me maybe a month or two months. And then on the third month or on the second month, mid month, it might finish. And then I might find myself having to now buy those things. And so what I found as a challenge for me is that when I would buy my groceries in bulk and then things will finish, I would be out of money and I wouldn't have money to replenish those things. And it became a stress for me because it also meant that I had to tap into things such as a credit a card back then when i had a credit card or oh, i had to ask money from my partner and i just don't like to come to him and tell him consistently oh we've run out of this oh we need money for this oh we need so what i did was i then just said you know what i came up i i learned about this from nicolette and then i said let me try this and i said to him you know what there's something that i want to try just give me a few months let's see how it works if i still come back to you asking for money even after you've given me this money every month do know that it's not working and remind me that it's not working so ever since i started this i haven't bothered my guy i haven't bothered him he gives me the money when he gets paid i allocate when i get paid is good then he'll give me money again when he gets paid he doesn't have to consistently give me money along the months of which i think he appreciates but so what i did was i went to him and i said okay i'm gonna do weekly allowances me with my salary i'm gonna fund two weeks that is why if i'm gonna be was i'm gonna be doing the cash stuffing here you'll see that i'm only gonna cash stuff for two weeks and so because that is that comes from my salary and then I said to him, when you get paid, because he get paid close to the it get paid close to the end of the month, which works out perfectly, you will then fund for two weeks again. And so what I do is I make sure that we put equal I just ask him to give us money that is equal to what I contributed as well. I could ask him to do more, 
like to put more but i just feel i'm just not that woman guys i'm sorry um sometimes i it can be slightly more but i'm not one to say oh just because i put two thousand whether you must put three thousand just because you're a man no no and it doesn't mean that it, it it doesn't mean that i'm saying we are equal we are not equal he's a man he's a man of this house we are not equal at all however I feel like it is a responsible thing to do to not lie to a person that you are in a relationship with and over exaggerate things so that you can get more money. So then I started then allocating weekly allowances per I, I started allocating my groceries per week and now what I do is I buy my groceries per week. Doesn't mean that I buy only small things as I said they be previously. There are things that I will buy, like that would last us two months, but then there are things that I need to replenish along the month. But I just prefer to know that each and every week I've got money. Doesn't mean that I have to spend all this money, but with the prices of things these days, however money, however money that I allocate per week, I find myself spending all of it in that week because things are just expensive. So that is weekly groceries for 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 you guys that were asking about that. But also, as I said, look at your budget and see where is the problem, and then pay yourself per week for that particular category so that you can manage your spending and just manage your resources for that week. The weekly allowances is more so for managing your resources to make sure that you stretch your money up until month end, and then the cash stuffing is more so for controlling your spending spending so that you are more conscious about what are you buying so the combo for me works perfectly so with that being said let us cash stuff for this month now i'm not going to cash stuff a lot of envelopes this month because it is a tight month it is a tight month when i say tight i mean like tight like those new tights that cannot fit yes <laughs> it is that tight so it is a tight month meaning that i'm not going to have the same i'm not gonna have all the envelopes that i had last month i know that i'm gonna have week one and week two i know that even on that i had to decrease my budget because guys i was working with a very limited uh, salary and so i had to make sure that i balance everything it was this month doing my budget when i was doing my payday routine it was a struggle because i literally had to sit and prioritize what are the most important things and where can i cut and then push that until i see how much money youtube pays me which brings me to this also please make sure that you watch the ads i also don't like reminding you guys of that because i remember when i oh, first opened my website years ago one of the things that they put on as google is that you must not tell people to click on ads or to watch ads things like that and so i've always had that thing that even now when i have a youtube channel i just feel like if i do that i go against youtube rules but guys yeah the ads the thing yeah i don't i'm not i don't want to say do what but the ads guys yeah the ads so we'll see how much youtube pays me and then i'll try to balance out my budget yet because there are certain savings that i haven't put in that i'm gonna have to wait and see how the month goes the income that i'm gonna get later on in the month and see how i'm gonna reallocate that but for now i had to prioritize the most important things so i'm gonna go on my I'm going to go on my thingy, on my journal right here, which is the Everson Financial Journal. Journal. By the way, these are still available. I think right now as I'm filming this, we have about 10 copies that are left. And I am going to receive the printed copies on Monday because they were shipped out on Friday, which was yesterday. It is a Saturday today. So they were shipped out yesterday, which I think I'm going to receive on Monday. And I'm going to prep them out from on Monday, which means Ma Tuesday. They are collecting them and make sure that they are with you guys who have bought them. But just make sure that you grab yours. It is it is discounted now. It is 420 so grab yours before they finish. And also there was a comment that said uh, next year, next time, make sure that you launch these in November so that people can buy them. That's exactly what I did this year. I actually opened for launch of these journals for purchase purchase on in november so people started buying them in november they sold out they've been selling out and i've been restocking but this was the last this is the last restock so i'm gonna go on my budget february budget yeah it was a tight one and we're gonna go over this part of the cash stuffing ne? and i'm gonna bring you guys here now so that we can do these numbers and then we're gonna go to the shops and then 
come back give you a grocery haul and then that will be it for this video and i'm gonna take you guys through the envelopes that we're gonna catch stuff here and then we're gonna put aside the ones that we're not gonna catch stuff so let's start with this ones uh that i normally keep on this wallet right here so the first one we're gonna the one of the envelopes we're gonna do is the petrol so we're definitely gonna do petrol solid dates this month we are right now not this month i am planning to cash stuff for it um looking at how my income looking at my other income that's coming in later on in the month like the youtube income so then i will decide how much money i put on the solo date but right now we do not have enough funds to start for solo dates so it's gonna go on the side groceries week two definitely stuffing for that groceries week three we are stuff week one we are stuffing for that and then um school wow did i put for school um blah, 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 blah. how is it that i didn't put okay i don't have any i didn't put for school i don't have for school so we're gonna put that aside yeah i don't know how we're gonna survive until the 23rd or the 24th if we don't have school but it's fine we're gonna leave it like this for now and then self-care i i am gonna catch stuff for it because what should i do okay let me do this let me take school and put you up because self-care i did allocate money for it and i did put 300 rands instead of 500 rands the budget was going to be was 500 rands but based on my actual income it had to be 300 rands and i did i did do my nails yes i did do my nails and i love these nails so much like my nail tech is so good she's so good so i did do my nails and it was 250 meaning that i was then left with 50 rents which is the one here so i think i'm gonna take this 50 rents and cash stuff for school because i really do not need money right now for self-care especially 50 rents is not much i can't do anything for self-care for 50 rents but at least for school my daughter can have money that that if they, they say there are any activities and there's money needed 50 rents is is fine so i'm gonna put away self-care so these are the envelopes we're gonna do and then we're also gonna do one envelope here so normally so normally here oh i also have week four week three and week four we're not cash stuffing for that because as i said on when we started this video that is the part that i cash stuff once my partner gives me money for those two weeks so when it comes to the the sinking funds we're only going to catch stuff once so the home essentials we're not going to catch stuff because there's not enough money for it so we'll see along the month if we are able to catch stuff for this we are not cash stuffing for december we are cash stuffing for birthdays because birthday but december is 910 we don't have 910 to catch stuff so let me just put these ones away so i'm gonna put them these ones back where they stay which is this envelope right here and yeah let's put these aside let's also put these there now let's focus on this one we're gonna start with birthdays birthdays it's 600 so the way that i split my money it's in thousands so we're gonna start with let's start this, with this one so it's 600 rands for birthdays so one two three four five six Okay. which means that now we have how much let's check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we've got one thousand two hundred for birthdays which i feel like it is fine for for my daughter's birthday obviously her dad will cover like most of her gifts and what what but for me i just need to make sure that the school part is covered like cupcakes I don't think I'm gonna do party packs this year. I am not. I'm not participating. Count me out. I am not participating. But cupcakes definitely gonna do, you know. So yeah, I'll cover the cupcakes and then I'll also cover maybe one gift. There's something that my daughter asked that I buy her for her birthdays. So I'll cover with that. One thousand two hundred. I feel like that's fine. Let us do weekly groceries. Ne? Weekly groceries is two thousand five hundred and i have already used 200 rands 
or 130 when I went to the shops, which is where the 20 rents was remaining. So if I used, so let's just say, if I used 150, let's just say 150. So we're going to say 1,500 minus uh, 150. It makes it 1,350 that I can cash stuff for week one. Ne? So week one is getting 1,350. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. one two three so one thousand three hundred i need 50 rents but i want this 50 rents to be for school what do i do okay let's just put 1300 for now oh lord it's so hot okay and then Week two, week two, it is a thousand. Let's just verify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So week two is a thousand. And then we come to petrol. Petrol is 1,500. That one we don't compromise on because you know petrol it's expensive one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's a thousand and we need 500 rents one two three four five what's the one zima okay so petrol is getting 1500 i recently filled up that vlog that you guys saw on sunday i recently filled up and then now we are left with this money ne? we're left with this money we're supposed to have 50 rents for weekly allowance weekly allocation which was going to make it 1350 but we don't but now we've got this 50 60 70 rents that is left here so my um instinct is telling me not my instinct my mind is telling me that i need to put it on school I'm going to put it on school because we need it for school. I cannot have money for school because there is always something with these schools, guys. There is always something that you have to spend on. There's this activity. We need money. This activity. We need money. So I cannot have money under here. So I'm still going to top up later on in the month the way i'm talking about later on in the month you could swear that it's a lot of money guys and i still have savings that i need to put in anyway let us put the envelopes that we're not gonna need uh the ones that are supposed to go away here so let's start with this one so on this one it's the birthdays it goes in here ne? then it's done and then it is week two petrol and school we don't need and i'm gonna take all of these envelopes as well and they're gonna go back in here ne? so these ones are gonna go back here they're gonna stay here because i don't need them that is how I make sure that I don't carry a lot of cash around me. Any envelope that I do not need, I leave it home. And then if I need an envelope, I take and I put it in here. So in here are my cards. So I'm going to quickly remove this time bank one. And then I'm going to leave these ones. Even though I'm not going to go to majority of the shops, but checkers one, I definitely need. Woolworths one, I need. These other ones I don't really need, but I'm I always like to have them because I may never know what I want in those shops. Oh, there's some coins in here. Let me also add these coins I like to have so that I can give to the guys uh, at the shopping centers, the one that help us to park. I just like to have some of those in there. So I'm only gonna carry these envelopes. By the time I come back home, this money will all be gone because we know how things are at the shops these days. Yeah. So this is the one I'm going to take with me and I'm going to put it away. 
this time around i'm gonna start a checkers <laughs> i'm gonna start a checkers and then i'm gonna go with woolworths so now what i want to do is now that we're done with this i want to i want to do a grocery list and then i'm out of here okay, so i'm back i'm done cash stuffing because i did that with you guys guys go you can it's a crime ganji guys anyway my camera my camera my my camera battery my camera battery is two percent anyway we're gonna be done now 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 so i have my uh thingy diary here what is this a planner or whatever notebook and i am going to i'm going to create a list for the things that we are going to buy today our budget is very much limited let me film at the same time here our budget is very limited we have 1300 and when i think about the things that we need it's a lot but obviously because it's weekly groceries there are things that i can prolong for next week which i know that i do not need to buy them now i can wait and buy them the following week so that's the nice thing about weekly groceries when you feel that your budget is very tight or the money that you have is very tight like it's small you don't have to uh why is that nail chipping now you don't have to like try to press for things to all come in one thing you don't have to press for you don't have to push to make sure that everything fits in one thing so what i do is for things that i know that i do not need or I, they are not agent i do not need to use them in that week i prolong them for the following week so right now i'm just going to focus on the things that we are going to need for the week so the most important things are the basics in terms of the state basics in terms of the things that my daughter needs for her lunchbox so those are the things that i'm definitely going to prioritize lunchbox things and then i'm also going to prioritize some toiletries that i may need i know that i need a deodorant so that i have to prioritize and those don't come cheap so when i say prioritize it's because i know i'm gonna have to spend close to 100 rands just for a deodorant because i use matcham and then what else do we need we need rice in the house um let me just pause there we need we need rice yeah we need rice when it comes to meat we need chicken because i like to always have chicken on hand even if i'm not gonna use it i just like to have chicken on hand because it makes me feel like i have options so we also need chicken spices we are good oil we are good we need juice for the lunch boxes we need also i recently bought juices for the house the three ones at Woolworths. so i'm not gonna buy even though i know they're not gonna last guys tell me why those juice those one liter juices as a woolworth they don't last you pour once or twice and then it's finished finished so i know they're not gonna take us all the way to the end of the week but for now it will do son it will do it will just do please 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 so let us let me just go into it let me just go and do my list and then we're gonna go to the shops okay so let me start with rice krispies uh rice crispies those are 90 rands the next thing is milk i don't run out of milk very quickly now especially since i do not eat breakfast so i like that the six that i like that i buy literally last us the oak the whole month i still we i think we still have about three three liters yeah three liters of milk and so i'm just gonna add because at woolworths right now is the only place that sells cheap milk and when i say cheap it means that it's below 100 rands anywhere else it is over 100 rands so 98 i'm gonna put 98 and also i do not like buying groceries around this time of the month because there are no real specials specials are at the end of the month i love doing my groceries at the end of the month because you find more for your money right now on the 15th that us guys who get paid on the 15 we know it we feel it because there are no specials and then the fourth the third thing that i want is okay let's put chicken now what i do for chicken is i just allocate an amount so i'm just gonna allocate 130 so then i can maybe get wings and maybe get uh the tray that had that has thighs and legs i don't know i'll see and then uh four we need juice 
four times times six let me not even stretch it guys my budget is very limited times six is about 56 rands the ones for for school and then we need the chalk spread from Woolworths. it's about 40 48 rand we need build on and then we need what else do we need for for lunch boxes we need grapes I like Kama grapes as a Woolworths, even though they are ridiculous, but I like them. And those grapes, they sell for 56 rands. Let me just say 58 rands. Ridiculous. But I'm still buying them. I need my smoothies, even though I'm not going in the office. So I'm just going to buy three smoothies. Three smoothies, yeah. They're about uh, 35 rands times four. Ha! No ways. Okay, let's say 35 friends times 3. Ne? Eh. No! Okay, I'm just going to buy 2. I'm going to buy 2. I'm sorry. No. Ah, uh -uh, 2. Which means it's going to be 70 rand. I don't get it, guys. Not this week. Not this week. Let's cut cost. And then I'm going to buy those, um, not those buds that I showed you on Sunday, the video that I did for those buds that have peanuts because they are cheaper than the luxury peanuts that I buy at Woolworths. Those ones are 114 and they last me for the whole week. But these ones, there are 10 bars inside, which means that they will last me longer. So I'm going to buy those ones and they are only 80 rands. And my battery is running out of there. So I'm going to continue on my phone. I'll take you guys when we go to the shops. <laughs> Okay, I'm back at the shops and I'm going to quickly show you guys the things that I got because my daughter wants to watch her cartoons. So we're going to start here. So firstly, I got milk, six, and then we got full chicken barbecue. I just like buying these, especially on a Saturday because this lasts us for a while and I like to make chicken wraps with it. So nice. It's nice with chicken wraps, avocados, and an egg. Nice. And then I bought chicken. And this was like 89 rands. I got grapes, got four avocados, the peanut butter and chocolate spread. And then I got my four, I got two smoothies. So this one, which is the chai one, I love this one. And this one, I also love this one, the carrot, mango, and what what. And then I got two juices, the passion fruit, as well as the one for orange. And then I got Rice Krispies for my daughter. And then the Stachia, there's digestive yogurt biscuits. I saw my colleague eating, well, my, my colleague was having these and I tasted one and I got hooked. And then there's Almond Pecan and Macadamia bars. And then I got these ones for the lunchbox, for my daughter's lunchbox. And then I also got these ones for her lunchbox. And then we got chips. Chips are also for her lunchbox. These I just wanted to try. Not really a coffee drinker much. That I'm not a coffee drinker that much. But I wanted to try this one. And then since it's hot, I'm just going to make iced coffee. And it is iced cappuccino. And then we got six eggs, six juice, biltong. This place, I tried another place that sells biltong because we were too far away from the one that I normally buy at. And I just tasted it now. Same thing. It's supposed to be the same thing. But it tastes totally different. I don't like this one. feels like it's also not ready. I don't like that one. And then chips as I said. Two bananas. Because the ones. I wanted the bigger ones. Like the 40 range ones. But most of them they were, they were ripe. They were ready. And I know that with the heat. They get ruined very quickly. So I wanted the ones that still have the green on them. And then so I got bananas. Then stay soft. Two dental soap. 
these ones special with 28 rands for two and then the Mitchum spray as well as the paper towels some of these things were not in my list such as these two paper towels stay soft i only budgeted for one on my list um these they covered with they were covered in the budget and uh, this one was also not in my budget or in my list what else was not in my list okay everything else was in my list yeah everything else was in my list and then we also bought a pie yeah, a pie uh yeah we bought a pie because we were so hungry so that is all that i got and i must say that it was all all of this together was one thousand two hundred and ninety something because we came back with about nine rent something so one thousand two hundred and ninety something just these few things yeah guys i bought this milk right because i thought i had about three left ne? now when i try to pack these ones these ones that i just bought look not even six i got seven seven guys what i'm so bored this is 90 rands that i could have spent on something else but now i have 13 milk in total so i'm not buying milk for a very very long time